So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Life and welcome to Assassin's Creed Revelations. So someone has requested for me to play this game because they recently um they recently bought it. I heard it was really really good. So they're trying to go through it, but they're having a bit of trouble. So I'm going to do this playthrough so they can watch it and learn from their mistakes. Anyway, let's get into this. We can keep them like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair. A stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself. Forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. Right. Hello? Anybody there? What's happening? I can't, I can't move. I, I can't. No. Anybody there? Where am I? So, um, interesting fact about me, the first ever Assassin's Creed game I ever played was, um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So that's the one before this. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Ugh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? What a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey! <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. 
keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there, hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. I'm so sorry. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Well, so, it's been years, I think I did play Revelations, at least a bit of it, when I was younger. It's Sean. Oh. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you, hold on. So I played a bit of it, so I know, uh, not a lot, but I know some features about the game. But it's quite interesting to see the huge difference between this game and the original. It's amazing. I was playing the original yesterday, so I could really tell. And I sh this should be quite good because I'm playing it on next gen, so the game should run very well. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, uh, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I have come so far. To find clarity, to find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair, so that I may better understand the purpose of our fight, and my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, 
for my ambition lead me astray. Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Okay then. So we need to follow Altair. One thing I didn't actually know was that apparently. Ooh, Ezio knows about Altair, which makes the story, it changes it a lot. So, hmm. Hidden blade. Okay. So it's really cool. I can now appreciate how, like, emotional and cool this first mission is, and the whole storyline, in fact. Because it's where the original game was set. Now, I need to work on my commentary to make it um, good for anybody that's struggling with this game. So far, I'm just not saying a word. But uh, a good thing to point out is that to jump, you have to hold RT and then press A. And then you point the left thumbstick in the direction where you want to go. Well, for these, you have to climb up, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So as long as you remember those three simple things, you'll be fine. And basically for this first mission, you just follow Altair. Just do what he does. Ah. Let's assassinate this guy. Nice and stealthy. So yeah, it changes in the new games. After this game, they changed the controls for um, for sprinting. I remember that one distinctly. Sprinting changes just to RT instead of RT and A. That's the only thing I remember. It's a bit sad. We walk exactly the same. Okay then. How did he know that? How did he know there was a pool of water underneath? Wait a 
in theory, he knew about the under the underground um, library, so he must have seen the markings on the stone and thought, yes, that is his entrance point. And potentially, he could have just jumped to his death. So what is down here? Ah. But let's let's observe our surroundings first. So they're not looking. Nor is he. Nor is he. So let's start with you. Sneak up behind you. Ah, oh, we can fast walk in this game just by holding A. If we sprint around, they might hear us. So we take out you. And then we just need to kill you. So let's go for a sprint attack. There we go. Let's talk to this guy. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Okay then, a journal of some kind. Okay. So we need to tail some guys. Get some information. Through here? So, oh, we still got the number thing in the bottom right near the map. The assassin must not get his hands on that book. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed. So, useful tip for um, finding your objective or where you need to go is that almost always I've rarely experienced a time in a game where it hasn't been marked at all on your mini map or on your big map there will always be some sort of mark to lead you where to go and in this game there's even more help you see that number in the bottom right the closer you are to your objective the smaller it will get which is very useful if you're in like a, um, a maze type area where you're not sure where to go, but you know roughly where to go. So the numbers will go down if you're taking the right route and they'll go up if you're taking the wrong route. So it's very useful. Oh dear. I think we're just going to have to fight them. Can we climb trees in this one? No, we can't. So... Roll. Oh, there's no one down here. Okay. Oh, and it's got a little arrow thing. So that's where we need to go up or down. That's very nice. It's really nice to see how the, the difference in the two games. Like, these are two games apart. Oh, dear. Let's go for a fight. Something deadly. Now, a good way to fight is to hold RT 
and just wait for them to attack and then press X because it guarantees to kill. I find that to be a much better tactic than just standing there spamming X. Okay. And again, let's go for a fight. Who's coming first? There we go. They'll only able to attack you one at a time, which is why it works. And you can tell who's going to attack by their, their health bar. It'll start flashing white. See? Watch his health bar. Flashing white, he's going to attack. So that's good if you're in combat with a lot of soldiers, so you can tell who's actually going to come and hit you first. Ah, uh, here we go. Is this a leap of faith, or is this... Oh dear. Convenient. <laughs> When using a parachute, press X to assassinate any guards below you. Let's land here on the roof. Now, if you see a group of people, you should unless it's changed, be able to blend in. Yeah, like that. So now, they won't suspect you. I may have accidentally stolen from one of them though, so they might not be happy. Oh yeah, if you're interested to steal stuff, you just hold A and walk next to somebody. The music is quite dramatic for the situation. Now the target icon will change colour for a different objective. So for this one it's yellow to tell me that we need to tail them. But for when we were inside the castle it was green. Green for a waypoint. And then red is for kill, obviously. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Ignore me, Kirillo, but he seems to confound us. Honey! Honey! Okay. So we're coming up to the bit where you're having a bit of trouble. So hopefully I can set a good example of how to do it. Presumably, you've already done the bit where you climb the rope. Because you're onto the, um, actually having your own thing. Whoa. It's behind us! Dad, you see him? What are you doing? Okay, so I need to avoid any rough ground, otherwise it's going to hurt. Left. Okay. Right. Okay. Left. Oh, no, that's me here. You have to climb and avoid the rocks. Oh, no. I'm not doing a very good job. Left. Right. No. Climb, Ezio. Climb. Oh, avoid that. Climb, 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 avoid. No. Oh, 
Oh, it's getting a bit tight. Come on, nearly there. You've got to try and focus more on avoiding the rocks than climbing. But luckily you have a lot of health this this bit. I'm not doing a very good job. I can't see. Climb now, it's clear, it's clear. There we go. Okay, so. Oh. Let's try not to fail. It's already going in. There we go. You just gotta keep it going. You gotta avoid doing that because that just sends you flying. You've got to give more of a swing. There we go. You gotta make sure you've got a better swing than he does, otherwise he'll do, he'll do the um Oh dear. Yeah. Well I've already figured it out for you, so just make sure you have a bigger swing. That is the trick. Just always get the bigger swing. When it comes to that narrow bit, you need to focus on getting through. Put it. Shove them onto that. There we go. We need to get to that bit. Oh dear. Okay, that's convenient. That's the first person down. Remember, get that nice big swing. Force them away. Let's avoid them actually. Go around. Then we get a nice big swing. Keep going. Keep going. Oh no. Go left. Can we go left? Yes, we can. There's always a left. Yes. Not for this one, no. It's fine. We just avoided it. Again, go left. Left is the key. There you get a nice big swing. That wasn't a good enough swing. Okay. Come on. There we go. There you go. Not to take your eyes off this road for a moment. Do you understand me? Nothing gets through. Leandros! Dead! Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon.
Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Assassin's Creed Revelations. If you liked it, hit the like button and hit the J to subscribe to my channel. And, by the way, if this helped you in any way, help uh, complete this mission, uh, you're very welcome. And let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all next time.